uh, folks who were involved in Klan activity. As a matter of fact, that's what ultimately led to the impeachment of Governor Holding in this, and Trujet was a, a, a central figure in the Kirk Holden Wars because it was in his judicial district where the Klan terror took place. And so he's a very, very central figure in bringing justice to the victims of Klan terror and prosecuting these folks. And that's why his life was threatened and that's why the state senator uh, uh, was, was uh, murdered uh, outside his courtroom. So he's a, you know, he's just a central figure as an activist, if you want to use that word, a judge. I, I'm, I'm never sure that what that means. It means so many things to different people. Certainly if you're, if you're putting yourself in the way of wrongdoing, uh, some, the wrongdoer might consider you an activist. I mean, but I assume, that's what, I assume that's what you want of your judges. I don't know. Well, there's another couple of questions. Um, if I can just get back to the moment of uh, the concept of rights for a moment. Um, uh, I know that dis disability rights didn't really become prominent in the, in the United States till the 1990s, but I know that after the Civil War, dealing with um, disabled veterans became an issue. Um, Albion Tajay has quite a few disabled characters in his fiction. Um, you have Old Jerry in uh, A Fool's Errand, you have um, Eliab Hill. Um, and the moment you describe when uh, the KKK attack Red Hill is actually a striking moment of violence against the disabled as well. Yeah. Um, and you have the Confederate soldier also in, uh, in Bricks Without Straw. Um, I'm wondering, um, does Tourget talk in depth about his own, because he, he was also disabled at the Battle of Bull Run, um, does he talk in depth about this, dis this uh, disability? Um, does he relate it to his fiction in any way? That's a great question. That's a, that's a really great question. Um, he, of course, in, in letters, complains a great deal about his uh, his back, uh, which keeps going out, and um, and uh, over and over again, he's uh, on a bed of pain. Um, but I I'm not sure that he consciously um, that he consciously created disabled characters. Um, because of his own um, d disability. Uh, and, and during uh, his time in, in Greensboro, he was actually, I think, in better shape physically than later. Uh, would you agree, Mark? He had a few laps. But um, I think that's a, wonderful, um, that's a wonderful question. As far as Eliab Hill, thank you for reminding me. Um, the, uh, in part, he bases um, Eliab Hill on a real life uh, person, uh, Elias Hill, who is um, mentioned in uh, the, the volume uh, of um, the, the 13 volumes um, of evidence on Klan terrorism that were co uh, collected um, uh, under the congressional hearings. And the one from South Carolina, uh, there was a, um, a very badly crippled um, uh, preacher um, named Elias Hill, uh, who was actually more, more crippled than Eliab Hill, um, who his arms as well as his legs were shrunken as a result of um, what may have been polio or may have been what 